Hey, thank you guys so much for joining me on Dropping Some Knowledge. My name is Andrew, and today I'm going to teach you how to properly open a bottle of champagne. It's recording right now? Yeah. You're still recording? Yeah. Don't you want to cut? I thought you wanted to cut. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you, obviously, for joining me on Dropping Some Knowledge. The reason for this video today is just to kind of explain a little further into how to properly open a bottle of champagne. There's a lot of misconceptions about um, how a champagne bottle should be properly opened. Obviously, if you're celebrating, champagne can open away from you. It's not a big deal. So accidents can happen all the time, you guys. Champagne is pretty dangerous. Uh, 90 pounds per square inch of pressure is inside of this little section in between the wine and the cork. Don't be like Ding. Billionaire that gets killed by popping a champagne cork at your birthday party, you don't need it. We're going to move on from that point. I'm going to educate you guys, and we're all going to be able to open champagne together correctly. So before we get started with opening the actual champagne, I'm going to go over a brief anatomy on the champagne bottle, just so we're all kind of understanding of the different reference points I'm going to point out, okay? A couple of little features on a champagne bottle that it's good for everyone to know. On the bottom of a champagne bottle, the little indentation, what that's known as is the punt. The punt is to strengthen the glass on the champagne bottle, all right? The next section is going to be the neck. This is the neck of the champagne bottle, um, where all the foil is. You have to remove the foil to get to the cork in the cage. To remove the foil, there's a little tab on every champagne bottle that you can actually remove the foil that way by pulling that off. So what you should do is either remove the tab or you can use uh, a wine key and what you do is you actually just cut around the foil to remove it. Remove that. So after the neck of the bottle, you come to the cage. So the cage's main purpose is to hold down the cork. Right now, without the cage, the cork is trying to explode from the bottle. There's so much pressure inside of this little square space, this square inch right here, that without the cage being on there tight like it is, this cork would pop. That's why the sound of a champagne is a big explosion. Um, the cool thing is there is a twist tie right here. Um, this is done at the winery. It's six twists. That is to secure the cork down to make sure it doesn't explode during any storage, handling, or uh, anything like that. So inside the restaurant setting, um, psalms are taught not to make any noise when you pop the cork. Uh, you don't want to disturb anybody next to you. Maybe someone doesn't want to know that you're celebrating. Whatever it could be. Guests are kind of weird. You guys are weird. Um, but <laughs> that's, the way that you do this is when you open a champagne bottle, um, it's okay to have a pop. That's the best sound that you could ever have when you're celebrating anything. I notice that I am happier when I hear that pop opposed to when I don't hear that nice pop of champagne. I'm going to open up the champagne bottle with a little bit of pop but still doing it the proper way um, so no one gets injured. When you open a champagne bottle, you have to have your thumb always on top of the cage. The cage is going to stay on top of the cork. The reason that is is because of all that pressure, you wanna make sure you have control. If you don't have control, it's gonna pop, and if this is angled at one of your friends, at you, you could die. I mean, it could be seriously injured, it's just not really fun. So what you do is you Immediately after taking the foil off, you leave your thumb on top, you get a good grip of it, and you always have the twist on the outside so you can properly unwind the twist. After you have your thumb on top of the cage, which is on the cork, you're going to untwist the twist six times. All right. After you untwist it, it's going to look like it's wide. What you're going to do is you're going to open it up a little bit. You're going to Obviously, just widen the gap between that. And from this point, what you're going to do while keeping your thumb on the top of the cork and the cage, you're not going to take the cage off. You're going to slowly put your hand on top of the cork and the cage. The cage is going to be used as a grip. So what you're going to do now when you're opening the champagne Make sure you're opening it away from everyone that's around you. If you need to, step back for a second. And you're going to turn the bottle, and it's going to pop. It's that easy. If I didn't have my hand on top of the cork, that easily could have popped off. 
you can see the expansion of the cork from inside of the actual bottle. This is shoved inside of that bottle and expands over time. So if this came out that easily, just think of the cage wasn't on top of there. Uh, but that's how you properly open a champagne bottle. <laughs> a, little, a little scary for a second. That sound is always just such a nice thing to hear when you're opening a champagne because it's like the mark of a celebration. So now that I've shown you guys how to open a bottle uh, of champagne with a pop, uh, I'm gonna show you how I open a bottle if I was at a restaurant um, without that pop, but more towards that silenced style, which I was kind of referring to in the beginning of the video. Um, so once again, hand on top of the cage, um, wall on the cork, six turns, and then you're gonna kind of widen that gap once again. You're gonna hold the very bottom of the bottle. This is going to be where you're gonna turn the bottle, not on the top, unless you actually need the leverage if you can't get the cork out. Sometimes a cork just won't come out. It's kind of stuck in there. Once again, you saw how thick the bottom of the cork was on the last wine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the bottom of the bottle, I'm gonna raise my hand to the top of the cork, holding on to the cage and the cork again. I'm gonna turn this bottle, um, and you're gonna to start to feel the pressure build up, um, pushing the cork out. You're not pulling the cork. What you're doing is you're just letting the pressure push the cork out, and then you're gonna hear kind of like a little fizz, so here it comes right now. And then now it's opened, you have the cork. Um, it was all safe, it's not disturbing anybody around you, but this is the proper way to open a bottle of champagne. All right, you guys, now that the bottle's popped, you're probably educated on how to open a champagne. You can go and enjoy your party. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Dropping Some Knowledge. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like, subscribe, share, follow me if you want to see more Wine Made Easy videos. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Cheers. Enjoy. Champagne chair. <laughs> <laughs>